companies claiming they underpaid the Atlantic City Casino Company on Superstorm Sandy claims. The suit alleges the insurers wrongly withheld payments for lost income during and after the storm at the Taj Mahal and Trump Plaza. The insurers denied the lost income claim last year. Tanya Hansen, CNBC Radio. There are no guarantees in love, but there is a guarantee from EH Plus by eHarmony, our new personal matchmaking service. At EH Plus, your own personal matchmaker gets to know you so well, we can guarantee introductions that will be satisfying and exciting. EH Plus goes far beyond regular online dating sites, and that's a guarantee. Visit us at ehplus.com slash love or call 1-855-930-LOVE. This is John Greenhut, and if your teeth are stained from coffee, tea, or smoking, Power Swabs is the answer. In five minutes, you'll see two shades wider teeth, and in seven days, six shades. Even better, there's no messy strips or trays that you'll have to leave in your mouth for an hour. Just swab your teeth for five minutes, and you're done. To try Power Swabs, call 1-800-679-0969. Your bright white smile will have your friends talking about how great you look. Try it risk-free. 1-800-679-0969. That's 1-800-679-0969. Consider this your invitation to sell. At buysellmakeoffer.com, you can sell as much as you want for the next 60 days without paying any fees whatsoever. Sound incredible? It is, and it's true. Buysellmakeoffer.com is the new exciting way to sell your stuff online. Make extra money right now. Sell your old car, furniture, video games, household items, clothes, even your home. Sell anything that's legal. Load up your stuff to sell right now at buysellmakeoffer.com. This is your official invitation to get on board to sell your stuff right now free for the next 60 days and once you see how easy it is you'll want to sign up for more because there are no item fees that's right take this opportunity to move items from the other guys and sell it for free you might even win a samsung tablet amazon gift cards and other cool prizes buy sell make offer.com is the future of online selling you can use skype to talk to your buyer or seller plus you can use video to showcase your items buy sell make offer.com You're listening to KCAA Loma Linda at 106.5 FM, K293CF, Moreno Valley. Good afternoon. It's 12.03. I'm Di Rice with the very latest in live local news here on KCAA 1050 AM and 106.5 FM. The owner of the L.A. Times made a surprise offer yesterday to loan $3 million to the owner of the Press Enterprise and the Orange County Register to help Freedom Communications through its bankruptcy. Tribune Publishing, owner of the Times and the San Diego Union Tribune, proposed the loan during a hearing in a U.S. bankruptcy court in Santa Ana, saying that the company would give Freedom the $3 million interest-free for day-to-day -day operations. The offer is contingent upon Tribune being the first to be repaid in any bankruptcy resolution, and its $3 million refundable deposit would account against any bid it makes for freedom assets in the bankruptcy. Tribune attorney Jeremy Rosenthal declined to comment on whether the loan was an indication of Tribune's willingness to bid for Freedom's newspaper. And Tuesday, the Riverside Police Department's vice unit served a search warrant on a house in the 5900 block of La Sierra Avenue. Sources say the homeowner was illegally operating as a massage business and brothel in a residential neighborhood. As part of their investigation initiated by residents, undercover officers entered the home and were solicited for prostitution. The homeowner was arrested on suspicion of operating a house of ill fame, operating without a business permit, and operating without a massage permit either. A woman at the house was arrested on suspicion of prostitution. The suspect's names have not been released. Inland Empire weather, mostly sunny for the most part. Highs near 71, overnight lows about 45 degrees. And uh, checking out your drive, there's an accident in the right lane of the 15 southbound as you approach 4th Street in Ontario. And in Riverside, there is good news. An accident has cleared on the 60 eastbound as you approach Main Street. However, uh, there is still some slow traffic in that area beginning at Market Street. And uh, that was in the right lane. Inland, uh, oh, that, that is the very latest. Done it all. Inland... <laughs> 
That is the very latest with news, weather, and traffic on the station that leaves no listener behind. KCAA, 1050 AM. Hey, it's Larry Burnett inviting you to talk sports with Fred Wallet, Mark Mancini, and me on open season Thursdays at 3.05 p.m. right here on KCAA AM and FM. That's KCAA, 1050 AM and 106.5 FM. Right now. Sacrifice, determination. You can be intentional about your character, your work ethic. You've got to be on the same page. They were calling to let you know we are debt free, house and everything. You have done really, really, really good. And you're not going to quit now. It's been a huge witness for us to be able to share that. It was time to get serious. Intentionality, people. <laughs> the success. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. This is your show, America. If I knew at 22 what I know now, our life would be better off. It's the show that's changing the world. Now you don't just listen to the show, you live it. Live from the headquarters of Ramsey Solutions, it's the Dave Ramsey Show, where debt is dumb, cash is king, and the paid-off home mortgage has taken the place of the BMW as the status symbol of choice. I'm Dave Ramsey, your host. This is your show. Thank you for joining us. Open phones this hour at 888-825-5225. That's 888 888- 825-5225. You jump in. We'll talk about your life and your money. Amanda is with us this hour in San Diego. Hi, Amanda. How are you? Hi, Dave. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. What's up? So my question, is, or the big, the big plan is when I'm debt-free in three years, we're going to buy a sailboat, pay it off in cash, save up enough money, quit our jobs, and then sail around the world. Cool. So, um, I in, in planning this, I'm thinking about retirement, and I know you have to work and save to have money for retirement. So I just wanted to ask, once we're debt-free, should we contribute more than 15% each month or each paycheck? Well, if you're debt-free, do you do, at this stage, do you own a home? No. No home, no children. Okay. And in, in the plan you're laying out for me, that you won't be having a house to pay off. So when you're... Mm-hmm. At uh, baby step four, and you have no children, okay, that automatically drops you into baby step seven. Yep. So then there's no limit on how much you save in baby step seven. Point being that baby steps four, five, and six are at the same time, and that's 15% into retirement. Baby step five is kids' college, and six is pay off the house. Since those two are gone, there's nothing left except wealth building, which is baby step seven, build wealth and uh, b- and, and give a bunch of it away. So you're going to pile up a big pile of cash and sail around the world, yep. and are you going to have enough reti- uh, enough investments at that point to never work again, or no. after you sail around the world, you'll sell the sailboat and get back in the workplace? Well, it would be nice to. We, we're both in IT, so we can work remotely or even start our own business while we're sailing around. So that's the big plan and can continue to contribute to it, but we just don't, won't have the set amount each paycheck. Okay, so you're going to have enough that if you don't have a bunch of work, you're still okay. It's not going to mess up your trip. Yeah. And the trip is how long? Uh, undecided, yes. I'm sorry? We haven't, just, we haven't decided. We, okay. We're just going to go until... I've got a couple of friends that have done it. I mean, some some people take as much as a year to do that. Depends on how long you're going to stop and that kind of stuff. Nice. And some they follow of the, a couple of blogs, and they've been doing it for years and years, and they they have no interest in stopping. Yeah. Okay. Well, again, if you're making enough on the boat uh, to eat, and you're not, you know, you're not running out of money, then you don't you're not forced to stop, right? It depends on how long you want to go then at that point. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, I, I think you got a great plan, and I would do exactly that. The The trick is if you, um, it, you know, you're just going to, as much income as you create, whether it's on a boat or whether it's on terra firma, again, you know, as much income as you create, you're always going to want to be living on some of it, giving some of it, and investing some of it for the rest of your life. And and so, you know, people say, how much should I save? And the question is how wealthy, the answer is how wealthy do you want to be? <laughs> the more you save, the wealthier you're going to be, and the more you're going to be able to help others and live your dreams. But you're certainly living a big dream right here off the front end of this, the way you're laying it out. I like that. So how much would this boat cost? Uh, the one that we're looking at is 189000 mm-hmm. but it's the perfect boat. Yeah. 
nothing but nothing better than perfect. So how long does it take you to be debt free and have one hundred eighty nine thousand to pay cash for the boat? Mm, we're hoping five to six years. It's less than three for me to be debt free, and then. Mm, we both make a pretty penny, and I'm, I'm moving into the IT security area, so it yeah. would be a big bump soon. Yeah, that'll, that'll help. Okay. Well, very cool. Very cool. Well, you definitely. I love the plan. So you're Thank paying you. cash for everything. You're going to have a pile of cash, and you're going to take this ride. Hey, I love it. Thanks for calling in. That's a neat discussion. Curtis is with us in Wichita, Kansas. Hi, Curtis. How are you? Good. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Hey, I uh, my wife and I actually just started working on the baby steps. We're currently on baby step one, saving our thousand dollar emergency funds. My question to you is, are we in a position to where I can start a home-based business? Are you in a position to? Well, you know, I'm looking at doing a drop shipping style e-commerce site to yeah. start out with. Yeah. So the monthly cost is pretty minimal Yeah, for about 30 bucks. So why would you not be able to do that? Well, my question is, you know, we were about sixty-seven thousand dollars in debt. Yeah, but we you're not spending. You're not spending any money to do this. You're not spending any money to do this. It creates money, right? Right. That's the goal. Yes. I mean, it's like taking a part-time job. You don't spend any money to do it, but it creates money. Only this part-time job you own. Right. You got to make more than you'd make delivering pizzas doing it, or it's not going to be worth fooling with. But you know, the cost of your time. But as long as you can make some money doing it, yeah, I would do that. Okay. Now, is this something you've done before, an area that you're associated with or have some knowledge of, or did you just hear you can do stuff on the Internet dropship? Well, I have experience in building the websites. As far as I've, I've built e-commerce websites in the past and have, you know, they've been pretty successful for the companies that I've built them for. So I yeah, but they had something to sell that they knew what they were doing. Right. What are you going to be selling? You just picked this out of thin air? Well, I'm looking at selling, uh, actually drop shipping Christian t-shirts. Uh, man, there's a lot of people playing in that space. Yeah. You've got competition coming out your ears. Okay. You need, you need to do some investigation. I mean, you possibly can do it, but okay. it didn't like, it didn't like you're the first person ever had this idea. Right. Uh, that, that space is pretty watered down. So okay. I, I want you to really check into it. That's the problem because I, I want to make sure what I'm not hearing is you went to some seminar that said you can make money doing dropship on the Internet. No, no, absolutely not. This is just something that, that okay. I feel that any kind of God is put in my ear to okay. kind of glorify him a little bit. So. Well, the good news is you have the uh, you have the technical experience on building the sites. Now, yep. what you've got to add to that to uh, and God gets the glory with your excellence if you're selling jelly beans, dude, it doesn't have to have a cross on it, okay? okay. If you put a cross okay. on it, that's cool, too. But if you're selling jelly beans with excellence and you're a Christian, your, your, your faith is your witness and your excellence is your witness. And, okay. you, deli you know, there's no crosses on uh, Chick-fil-A's chicken, but they pretty much everybody knows those people are believers, right? Right. And that's what I'm saying. So you can you can do this in a way that has some market savviness to it. And, and the thing I want you to do to add with your technical expertise is I want you to really research the market of whatever it is you're going to drop ship. Yes, there is money to be made doing that. But it usually is going to be something that you develop an expertise around the item or items that you're doing. And it's not just uh, you just reach out there into a space and grab something and it automatically works because you've got to have a you got to have a definitive uh, a brand differentiation with whatever you're doing and there has to be a reason that someone is actually going to do business with you versus one of the other players in the space if there's a bunch of other players in the space so but yes i definitely would do this i think you've got the expertise i just want you to spend more time on the marketing side and the equation of of what it is you're selling and why why would i buy it from you instead of somebody else what's your brand differentiator there hey man great question thanks for joining us this is the dave ramsey show Larry Burnett here, inviting you to join Mark Mancini, Fred Wallen, and me for Open Season every Thursday at 3.05 p.m. here on KCAA. We talk sports the way real sports fans talk sports, and we talk sports with some of the biggest names in the game. Names like Vin Scully, Jerry West, Goldberg, Tommy John, Sam Bam Cunningham, and Byron Scott. We tackle the issues, and we don't pull any punches. So join us for Open Season every Thursday afternoon here on KCAA AM and FM. That's 1050 AM and 106.5 FM.
have our friend and longtime partner, Howard Russell, who is the CEO and president of Christian Healthcare Ministries. Howard, it works. It's affordable for followers of Christ. This is, in fact, an actual ministry. It's not just a word in the title of your organization. There is a wonderful model that members in all 50 states, they pay a monthly membership fee. If they have medical bills, they send those bills into us. We send the money to the member who then goes pays the bills. That model works because it finds its basis in the Bible in Acts chapters 2 and 4. That's what we do, and we are legal, plus we are more affordable. You can go to chministries.org. That's chministries.org. And on their website, you can get every answer that you could possibly ever need, and you can communicate with their amazing team. So check it out now, chministries.org. This Everything is KCAA. And now it's time for another Support San Bernardino Spotlight. Hi, my name is George Hahn. I am the Senior Minister at the Center for Spiritual Living Inland Empire. In the next few weeks, we would like to support San Bernardino by highlighting the outstanding things about our city. Today's program features Michelle Takia. Please tell us about your involvement with the symphony. Thank you, Reverend George. In the summer of 2008, I founded, established, and became artistic director of Symphony Jeunesse Youth Orchestra for Strings. It was established for serious string instrumental students ages 12 to 18 wishing to advance their musical studies. Season one opened with 12 students, and over the next seven seasons, the orchestra has grown to 35 members. We will be performing at Temple Emmanuel in Redlands on Tuesday, November 24th at 7 p.m. for the San Bernardino Clergy Association's annual Thanksgiving service. Symphony Jeunesse holds auditions and is always looking for new members. Donations are welcome. Please call 951-203-0759. That's 951-203-0759. Thank you. This program was underwritten by Center for Spiritual Living Inland Empire. If you would like information about today's program, please contact me, Reverend George, by calling 909-883-7171. That's 909-883-7171. If you're trying to prevent a home foreclosure, you need the Goodman Law Firm on your side. Goodman has a nationwide network of foreclosure attorneys to represent you during the mortgage mitigation process. The Goodman Firm has resolved troubled mortgages across the nation. Take control of your mortgage situation today. Call the Goodman Law Firm, 888-800-6030, or contact them online at www.arnoldgoodmanlaw.com. KCAA, where every day is a great day. KCAA, Loma Linda. Thank you for joining us, America. We're glad you are here. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. It's a show about you, your life, your money. The phone number is 888-825-5225. Julie is in Baltimore. Hi, Julie. How are you? Hi, Dave. Hey, what's up? I have a retirement question for you. I am 33. I was a public school teacher in Baltimore for seven years, um, paid into the state retirement system during those seven years, which makes me considered vested mm -hmm. in the pension system for when I turn, I guess, 62. I called them recently just to inquire about how much I might be able to receive once I, I hit that age, and they said, you know, we really can't tell you until you turn 61, and they do this calculation of what I've paid in plus time. But my question is, would it be better to take that money that I've paid in for these past seven years since I'm no longer in the field? I've switched to being a director of a nonprofit organization, and I'm no longer paying state retirement. 
would it be better to move that money into like a mutual fund or something that would grow aggressively? Yes. Okay. For multiple reasons. Um, let's walk through it. So you can not only get the money if you're vested that you've put in, but you'll get some value of what your pension's value is today. Okay. They should anyway. That would be a typical okay. thing. And so it's a lump sum buyout is what it amounts to. And what you do is do a direct transfer rollover to an IRA. There's no taxes due on this if you do it that way. Do okay. not let them send the money to you. Send it directly into the mutual funds or fund that you want it to go into as your direct transfer IRA. Okay. And that way there's no withholding and there's no taxes due of any kind. Then, okay. uh, th then the reason for doing that is the mutual fund will outperform what the pension is paying. Yeah. And um, the second reason for doing it is if uh, the school system gets in financial trouble, you've got your money. Okay. Right now it's sitting with them. Yeah. And lastly, and probably the biggest reason to move it, is that uh, when you die in a pen with your money in a pension, they keep the money. Mm -hmm. And when you die with the money in a mutual fund in, in an IRA, it goes to your heirs. So the money okay. the money survives you that way. And so that's the biggest reason when you're actually doing math on the stuff. You'll earn more, and that's good. And the slight chance that they get in financial trouble, although a lot of these school systems are in trouble. Um, and so, you know, I don't want your pension to get caught up in that. That's a really bad thing. It doesn't happen very often. But uh, that's a smaller percentage. But the big thing is, is this amount of money is in your name forever. You have control of it, and, and it passes to your heirs. And I definitely, definitely would do that. Pueblo, California is next. Jennifer, Jennifer's on the line. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Hi, Dave. It's great to talk to you today. You too. What's up? Um, so, and I've been listening to you for a long time, but finally at that point where I'm sick enough where I want to get rid of all this debt. Um, but my biggest issue, we're on baby step one. We're trying to build that $1,000. But I keep having problems because I have a lot of health issues and I'm constantly... Um, having health expenses come up, which are making it really difficult. Right now I'm facing um, a surgery that will probably be 3500 to $4,000. You don't have insurance? Um, I do have insurance. Um, it's just we have a high deductible, and for the last three years I've ended up meeting my um, maximum out-of-pocket each year, too. And what's your deductible? Which, uh, I want to say it's somewhere like 6000 something I don't remember exactly. It's probably not over five. Okay. It'd be very unusual under Obamacare for it to be over five. Um, they Some of us started with higher deductibles, but they've forced the lowering of them or you get penalized. Um, so it's probably... Um, oh, actually, sorry. I'm looking. I have a $2,000 deductible and a 6600 out of pocket. Out of pocket. Okay, stop loss. That makes sense. All right. And your household income is what? Um, it's around 71000 or it was last year, and I think it'll probably be around that this year. Okay. So 6000 is $500 a month. All right? Okay. Average through the year. Now, it comes in fits and spurts, but that's the most you're going to have out of pocket is $500 a month. And making $70,000, that's keeping you from saving $1,000. Not something else going on. That's not it. Are you not working some because of the health issues? Um, that's part of it. Um, is the, is I, the household income with the health health issues really seventy thousand? Um, I mean that's what my husband brings in after. Well, and that's before taxes. Oh, that's your husband working. Yeah, you, you're not. So you're not losing time at work with your health issue. I'm not losing time at work. Um, I've been a stay-at-home mom for the most part because my husband works mm -hmm. sometimes. How much do you own in your cars? Nothing. Okay. How much debt do you have other than your home? Other than the home, we're about thirty, well, about thirty-four five. On what? Um, a couple of credit cards, medical bills. Um, basically, that's. That's pretty much it. Okay. Mostly credit card, though. Um, 
you know, a couple of the, like one of the carts that we have, you know, medical expenses have been put on it. So, um, but mm-hmm. it's, it's probably about, um, I don't know, maybe half and half. Okay. Here's what's going on. You've been making 70 and spending 70 and your medical bills are running up your debt. Mm-hmm. That's what's happening mathematically with what you told me. Because mm-hmm. most of your debt is medical related is what you're referring to. Mm-hmm. Unless the emotions of being ill have tainted your view of the actual numbers. But if the actual numbers are what you're saying they are, the vast majority of your debt and everything we've talked about is, redu- is due to medical. And it can't be more than $6,600 a year. Yeah. It can't be. And really, the stop loss, the out-of-pocket, usually has to do with one event. So if this is one medical event recurring, then the stop loss wouldn't even apply to that. On an annual basis, it wouldn't reset. It, would, it, would, uh, it wouldn't start over every time. But my point is, making 70000 you should be able to absorb a $6,000 blow. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because yeah, that, that leaves you like 64000 to live on, which ought to be doable in Pueblo, Colorado. That's what I'm saying mathematically. So you're somehow, uh, it could be, and it's not to pick on you, I'm just trying to analyze it and figure it out with you, but it could be that the strain on the household and the strain on your all's emotions uh, with fighting these health issues have caused you to not concentrate on the money stuff very much and you've become disorganized and a little bit out of control. Uh, I would be because I don't do pain. I'm pretty much a wimp when it comes to pain, so I would be like, yeah, I wouldn't be thinking about nothing else except moaning. So I'm, <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, I don't know what you're facing, and I'm not making fun of you. I'm just saying I can. What it does when it, when a health problems hit a household, it hits more than just the person's health. It affects your emotions. Your spiritual tank gets empty. Your your uh, you eat out more, and there's comfort food. There's you buy more expensive things. You medicate your uh, the stress on the household with purchases to feel better all of those kinds of things are normal in that situation so i would tell you to kind of guard against those things and get on a really strict in spite of the strain of this a really strict written budget and not only would you get out of you know get your thousand dollars saved but you should be able to get out of debt even if you have six thousand dollars a year let's just say six thousand dollars a year is going to hit we're just going to write it down boom just like that that's 500 bucks a month you can do that on $70,000 and make progress. But you're going to have to cut a bunch of other stuff out, and you're going to have to get really organized and really focused because the math says it can be done. It, the problem is life screws up our math, and that's what's happening with you guys, I think. I don't, I don't see anything else. You haven't told me any other piece of information that changes that scenario. I would jump online at everydollar.com and get your written budget going, and you and your husband sit down, look at the written budget on everydollar.com. It's the best online budgeting tool in the world, and it's completely free. KCAA Loma Linda at 106.5 FM, K293CF Marino Valley. California Headline News, one of the four victims of Wednesday's stabbing incident on the UC Merced campus, talks about what it was like when he was attacked by the knife-wielding suspect. It's hot, really warm. It, it didn't hurt because I was so, there was so much going on. Iron Price suffering a knife wound to his lower abdomen, but is being hailed as a hero for luring the suspect, identified as 18-year-old Faisal Muhammad, into the hallway, away from other potential victims. Police eventually shot the suspect to death. A San Bernardino police officer is killed in a collision in Fontana. The impact uh, sent the patrol car. It was a Crown Victoria patrol car across the intersection. Uh, Bryce sustained massive injuries in the crash. Bryce Haynes was a 12-year department veteran and a father of three. Two weapons recovered from a San Diego apartment complex where a man fired several shots Wednesday, the shots resulting in stoppage of air traffic in and out of nearby Lindbergh Field. Suspects surrendered after five hours. No one was hurt. Geico weather, mostly dry, cool conditions. Jeff Scott, California News. You know the story of Hansel and Gretel, where Hansel left breadcrumbs on the trail so they could find their way back home? That's what you do when you use public Wi-Fi or shop online, or give out your social security number at your doctor's office or the bank. You leave breadcrumbs on the trail for someone to possibly steal your identity and take everything you own. At LifeLock, we use proprietary technology to detect signs that someone has picked up your breadcrumbs to take what's yours. 
And unlike free credit monitoring services that only alert you, we have a dedicated resolution staff to help clean things up if all those breadcrumbs get messy. No one can prevent all identity theft or monitor all transactions at all businesses. But with LifeLock, you can keep doing the things you do every day and feel better protected. Isn't it time to help protect yourself from someone eating your financial lunch? Plans start at $9.99 a month. Right now, you can get 10% off. Go to lifelock.com and enter promo code NEWS. Wondering what to do on your Friday drive home? Well, the bar is open and it's happy hour. Join us right here on KCAA 1050 AM on Friday at 3 for Trevor's Happy Hour with Lyle Fenimore. The gang's all going to be there, so dial it in. KCAA 1050 AM Fridays at 3 p.m. for Trevor's Happy Hour with Lyle Fenimore. Pour me a tall one. Brought to you by BuySellMakeOffer.com. And now it's time for another Support San Bernardino Spotlight. Hi, my name is George Hahn. I am the Senior Minister at the Center for Spiritual Living Inland Empire. In the next few weeks, we would like to support San Bernardino by highlighting the outstanding things about our city. Today's program features Edwin Johnson from Cords Enrichment Youth Program. Edwin works with at-risk youth. Hi, CORDS is a program in the city of San Bernardino. This is a free program for the kids, and what we do is we allow them to use industry standard equipment that increases their vocational skills, educational skills, and life skills. And this is a program that is free to all teens in the city of San Bernardino. Currently, we have an event coming up November 14th, Stop the Violence, Hope for the City event. You can find out more information at www.cordseyp.org. And this event is going to be free as well. We're going to have live performances, free food, and education. And we got a lot of people coming out, like politicians and our San Bernardino Police Department. So please attend this event. And for more information about CORDS program, you can go to our website, www.cordseyp.org. Thank you. This program was underwritten by Center for Spiritual Living Inland Empire. If you would like information about today's program, please contact me, Reverend George, by calling 909-883-7171. That's 909-883-7171. Mark Christopher Auto Center would like now to honor every American who has served in our armed forces. John F. Kennedy said that a nation reveals itself not only by the men it produces, but also by the men it honors. On Veterans Day, we remember all Americans who have served in our nation's armed forces. The freedom we take for granted as American citizens is the fruit of their sacrifices. Veterans across the land and right here at home. California's number one GM dealer, Mark Christopher Auto Center, would like to salute the veterans of our nation. Mark Christopher is family owned, has been since 75, and they know the sacrifices that families make for one another, as well as the sacrifices family members have made for our freedom. Mark Christopher Auto Center is proud to serve all of you who have served. Thank you for your service. From Mark Christopher Auto Center at the Vineyard Exit of Interstate 10. KCAA. What have I learned so far? I've learned that there is no one path right for everyone. I've learned that without my high school diploma, I can only do so much. My options were limited. I found a free personalized learning program with Learn for Life that has a flexible schedule so I could keep my job while earning my high school diploma. I found new career training opportunities that would jumpstart my future. What have I learned so far? I've learned that I can change my life. Are you 14 to 19 years old and looking for a free high school diploma program with flexible meeting times? This program allows you to keep your job or important family responsibilities while earning your high school diploma. If you've fallen behind on credits or dropped out of school completely, get back on track with free tutoring, a caring faculty, and one-on-one attention. For more information on how to reach your graduation goal, visit learnforlife.org. That's L-E-A-R-N, the number four, L-I-F-E dot O-R-G. Or in Enroll today by calling 877-360-LEARN. That's 877-360-LEARN. The most diversified radio station on the dial, KCAA. Be 
of the headquarters of Ramsey Solutions, Seth, and his wife, Patty, is not. She didn't make it. She couldn't make it. No, She's uh, not here. She's got a sick one at home, I hear, the, that she had to watch after. So who's filling in for her? What's this young lady's name? This is Lily, and she is filling in for her mama, who is home with her brother, who is sick, and her younger brother, who's two, and he uh, just... He didn't make the trip either, but lots of lots of people there to take care of. So yes, we'll sir. we'll uh, let Lily scream on behalf of Patty. So how much debt have you guys paid off? We paid off a hundred and thirty-four thousand total in a little over three years. Way to go! All right, making what kind of money during that time? Um, started at about seventy and ended up a little over eighty-five. And okay. so we we got a house sold. Ah, uh, okay. That we had rented out, and um, we moved out of rented out we did all made all these decisions before we met you mm -hmm. and uh we um we four after four years we finally got got the house gone and okay. uh rented it out and had to pay rent and mortgage for a while but gotcha so how much it. of the hundred and thirty four thousand was the rental uh 90. okay all right what was the rest of it uh the rest of it was credit cards student loans um a car payment um mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, so you guys were normal we were normal. We I were mean, normal. you moved out of a rental, bought a house mm -hmm. without having the other one sold, mm -hmm. turned it into a rental by default, yep. probably. Then you had so you had all the normal debt other than that. Everything you bought, you we bought had. on debt. Yes, sir. And then you look up. So what happened three years ago? What turned the corner for you? Why, how, tell me your story on this journey. Well, we um, we moved out of that house uh, in, three, or in 2011. Then for me to go to grad school, I started grad school, and then we looked down after we are paying rent and paying a little bit of mortgage and... Uh, we say this is not adding up each month, and somebody at church had been telling us to go to uh, to go to financial peace, and so we did, and we did that first budget, and we were like, we got to do something. So I got a uh, I got a part time job working at a grocery store, mm -hmm. and I was going to school, um, teaching during the day. Both my wife and I are teachers, mm -hmm. and then uh, either going to class or working at the store at night, and I did that for two and a half years. Wow! And uh, we did not have much of a life. For a while, yeah, and uh, I think we counted up the longest string of days I worked was 36 straight days of either school teaching or selling groceries. Wow, and, uh, it was a lot of work, and I didn't do all the work. My wife, who was taking care of, they were then five and three at the time. Mm -hmm. Um, she she did all the work. She was the yeah. I think you both have been working your butts yeah. off, is what it sounds like to me. My 89 year old granddad says she's te cheaper than tougher than a cheap steak so <laughs> <laughs> that's good well you guys have held on and gritted your teeth and pushed your way all the way through this was it worth it oh definitely we um it, had we not done financial peace i don't know where we would have been we uh about halfway through we had to put in a five thousand dollar air conditioner in the house we owned oh um and then we get a call or not a call but patty goes to the doctor one day comes home and guess what kids you're going to be parents again for the third time <laughs> and uh we paid for the air conditioner cash we paid for the baby cash I love we it. were all we were prepared everything was yeah. everything was good and you got all this debt paid off and got the rental sold all in three years and we did and now we have our three our six month emergency fund already built up wow and so wow. we are moving on to step four now you, you you probably will never see the inside of a grocery store the same no. <laughs> and it's fun. I enjoyed it. I, I'm thankful for my time there, and I'm glad that uh, that God put me somewhere where I could provide for my family and, and make ends meet, and uh, it, it all worked out. So. Very cool. But you don't have to go there now except to buy groceries. Except to buy groceries. <laughs> I, I, I miss my 10% discount. We don't get that anymore. Oh, but, there you go. <laughs> but uh, it's, been, it's been great. That's so. fun. Well, congratulations. So what do you tell people the key to getting out of debt for you and Patty or when you paid off 134000 in three years? Um, I would have to say don't be afraid to sacrifice, and that's, that's what we had to do. And, and be content with where you are. We rented The first place we rented once we moved uh, was very small, and we had two kids in a small in a small bedroom, and we were in the bedroom. It was a two-bedroom, one bath, mm -hmm. and then we, we've upgraded since then to an extra bedroom mm -hmm. since we've had the third. But don't be afraid to sacrifice and learn to be content. I was thinking about this on the, on the drive over, and uh, I used to coach football, and one of the things we used to, we, we'd have Bible studies with the players, and one of the things we used to tell them was uh, read the book of Philippians 
Paul wrote the book of Philippians from a jail cell, and he talks about rejoicing and being joyful and being content in everything. And, uh, and it took me a while to learn that, but I think learning that and learning how to be content with what you have and living simply is, uh, is a great thing. Yeah. The, the peace that passes understanding, 4-7. Mm -hmm. Yes, know. sir. Very cool. I love it. Well, congratulations, sir. Very well done. And uh, long trip, where, where did you drive from? Greenville, so about five hours. Okay, Once so you and Lily had some daddy-daughter time. We did. We did. And we watched the Sound of Music and Mary Poppins, so we'll watch them again on the way back, I'm sure. <laughs> so. That's how we used to measure trips when ours were that age. How, how many how many Little Mermaids does it take us to get that's there? Exactly yeah. right, yeah. That's exactly uh, right. That's it. Oh, wow. Well, congratulations, guys. Very well done. Our uh, salute goes out to Patty, home with yes, the sick sir. babies and watching everybody as she mm -hmm. does as we do this. But but, uh, so Seth, Patty, and Lily, yes, Lily sir. filling in for Patty, going to do a debt-free scream, $134,000 paid off in three years, making $70,000 to $85,000 a year. Count it down. All right, Let's do a debt-free scream. Ready? Three, two, one. We're debt-free! <laughs> uh, well done, sir. Very, very, very well done. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, check them out, folks. That's how it's done. Hey, by the way, if you didn't know, you can schedule your debt-free screen by emailing us here at DaveOnAir at DaveRamsey.com and just put in there that you're wanting to do that, and Kelly will do that. Or you can go to the website at DaveRamsey.com, and there's actually a way to schedule your visit on the website. Uh, under the radio section, and then Kelly will Kelly Daniel, our associate producer, will schedule a time. You can't just uh, wander in here and do them. They're booked out several weeks, months, actually, in advance around my schedule when I'm here. Because, see, some days I'm not here. I'm in your city doing an event, and so back and forth. And so if you're going to just wander in here to do that, and even your phone call, for that matter. We only do one an hour, and so they're they're pretty booked up, but you can get in. And we want to hear from you. We want to hear your story and put you on the air. But you just kind of have to think about it a little bit in advance and go ahead and get the planning done on it. And, and you know, you can work all that out with Kelly. And that way we don't, you know, we, we love having folks stop by. You're welcome to stop by anytime. We've got uh, free homemade baked goods. Dorothy over in Martha's Place has all this wonderful smells when you walk in. It's all free. All these specialty coffees and everything, it's all free. And just go in there and take advantage of that. Enjoy and sit here and watch the show. People do that. The show's on the glass in our lobby, if you didn't know. So come by and, and kind of make it an event as you do that. And uh, just, just plug into the whole process. You know, we love the celebration aspect of this. It is a big, big deal. Speaking of celebrating, today, if you haven't heard, we are celebrating the launch of the pre-sales on Chris Hogan's new book, Retire Inspired. It went on sale today. The book actually is available the second week of January. I think it's January the 11th or something like that is a Monday is the actual street date of the book. But here's the deal. To, if you're 55 or you're 25, or you're 65, or you're 24, and you want to retire with dignity. Well, this book will help you do that. The book is called Retire Inspired. My friend and cohort here, one of our Ramsey personalities, Chris Hogan, is America's trusted voice on retirement. And Retire Inspired is available at any bookstore. I was looking at the Amazon site a while ago for it. You can go to Amazon.com and pick it up. You can go to Barnes & Noble, pick it up. You can go to RetireInspiredBook.com and pick it up. And uh, But here's the deal. If you buy it on pre-order, it helps Chris and it helps us, so we're going to bribe you to do that. It's that simple. It's a $20 book. We're going to sell it to you for $20. bucks. you will get the book in January. You'll get the Retire Inspired eBook in January, the digital audio book in January, and right now we're going to send you a new video from Chris called Investing Basics and a Guide to Retirement Budgeting eBook and a copy of my eBook, The Legacy Journey, $70 worth of stuff. All when you order Retire Inspired today. KCAA is your CNBC News affiliate. We're the station that gets down to business. Join KCAA, the city of San Bernardino, and the Suavecito Car Club for a Veterans Day celebration with a car show and Veterans Day parade. 
It all begins with a tribute to our fallen soldiers, 11 a.m. at 10th and Mount Vernon, ends at La Placida Park at the 15th annual celebration and car show. Boogie Brown will be hosting the event Wednesday, November 11th with KCAA, the city of San Bernardino, and Suavecito Car Club's Veterans Day celebration. Call 909-802-6964. That's 909-802-6964. overlooked priorities in a family's financial plan is life insurance. Having it and having the right amount are crucial. If you died, how would your family pay the bills, put food on the table, and plan for the future? Term life insurance is protection for the ones you love. It's not complicated and it's not expensive. People need to deal with this, which is why I found a company I trust and I do business with, Xander. Please take the time to take care of your family. This is KCAA. Here's a look at the KCAA community calendar. I'm Di Rice. Hey! What are you trying to do? You ruined my record, man. I just bought it. Has that ever happened to you? Has somebody scratched your records? Find replacements or find the records you're looking for at the Inland Empire Record Collective Saturday, November 21st. Record vendors will be selling the best in rock, soul, punk, surf, psych, hip-hop, funk, and more. It's a free event with live music, DJs, art, clothing, artisans, food, and more. A day of fun for the entire family. Find what you're looking for at the Inland Empire Record Collective Saturday, November 21st from 10 till 6 in downtown Riverside, 3587 University Avenue, right behind Worthington's Tavern. If you have records to sell, sign up at ierecordcollective at gmail.com and join the fun at the Inlet Empire Record Collective. That's a look at the KCAA community calendar on KCAA 1050 AM and 106.5 FM. Hi. Larry Burnett here to remind you that if you haven't been listening to Open Season on KCAA, then you haven't heard Jerry West, Finn Scully, Goldberg, Tommy John, Nancy Lieberman, Sam Bam Cunningham, Jim Lampley, or Todd Marinovich. Hey, if you love sports, join Mark Mancini, Fred Wallen, and me as we tackle the issues, swing for the fences, and make sports fun again. Open Season, Thursday afternoons at 3.05 p.m., right here on KCAA AM and FM. That's KCAA 1050 AM and 106.5 FM. Joining us, America. We're glad you are here. James is with us in Phoenix. Hi, James. How are you? I'm doing well, Mr. Ramsey. How are you doing? Better than I deserve, sir. What's up? We well, appreciate the opportunity to talk to you. I am a father of five young children, uh, married, and I seem to be struggling in my monthly budgeting. I use your every dollar budget tool, and it, it's great. I like how it works. But I, I don't know if I'm allocating the right amount for food, or sometimes it seems like maybe it's the process of learning the budget. But it seems like since we've been using the tool, we keep struggling. Like either something unexpected comes up, Murphy, or we like registration for a car, or haircuts, trying to factor in those things. I don't know if I'm spending too much on food, too little. Just I don't want it to be. My oldest is eight years old. I don't want to be ten years from now, and she we can't pay for her to go to college or help her to go to college. And so I don't know, just trying to figure it out. Okay. Well, uh, to start with, it takes about three months to get good at it, and you just started. Okay. Your first month, you usually pretty much suck, which is what we're discussing. <laughs> <laughs> so it, you just don't know. But le car registration and haircuts aren't surprises. 
They're very, okay. they're very predictable. And so, you know, but what you learn is once you stub your toe on that a time or two is you learn to put that stuff in the budget. You learn to see it coming because you just didn't think about that, that before. But now that you're starting okay. to think about it, stuff like that, you know, like Christmas is in December. That's not a surprise. It's coming. Right. And, and so, you know, we've got to, we have to just think about those things. The car, the car tires are going to wear out. That's not really an emergency. They wear out. We know that, that the alternator going out is an emergency. We don't know when that's going to happen. But, you know, you know the cars, you look down, those little belts are waving through at you, then you know you got, you know, it's too late then. You got to, you now have an emergency. So uh, you just learn to anticipate these things and see them coming. You know, you start to think, okay, August is here. It's not just school closing, school supplies. It's probably activity fees and stuff at the school as well. And then, you know, generally speaking, you know, we're going to have some kind of a uh, field trip for the kid around X month or Y month and that kind of stuff. Some of those things you'll start to anticipate and you'll develop some little miscellaneous household categories or school categories for some of them or car categories for some of these other things that type of thing but what i'm saying is all of that to say is you're just going to get better at this from having you know getting punched a couple times and you didn't see it coming uh, other right. things you don't see coming and they just don't i mean you got a bunch of kids so you got a lot of opportunities for emergencies yes and, and you know but a sick kid i mean you got five under eight you yes. got one got the flu just about half the time. I mean, you're going to be running in and out of the dock. It's just small children, you know. Right. Ho hopefully not. I'm not. I'm not wishing bad things on your family, but that's the reality of small children. And a bunch of small children means you got even an increased reality of that. So you just look at right. that and your budget on your food. Almost everyone under budgets on food their first month. Most people spend money more money on food than they realize. Okay. And, and the, doing the budget makes you go, we're feeding five baby birds, and those baby birds all eat. And that's, wow, ouch. And, and you know, that's, that's what you're just going to get better at it. You probably under budgeted on that one. You didn't see the others coming. Both of those will be fixed next month. And you, by the time you've done this for a year, you're going to be such an old pro at it that none of this will be in question. It'll be singing. It'll be running along like a sewing machine then, okay? Okay. Have at it, dude. Keep it up. Thanks for using every dollar. If you don't know what every dollar is, by the way, folks, it's a free online budgeting tool, everydollar.com, and the app to utilize it once you set it up online, you set it up on your budget, on your computer, but then once you set it up, you can access the information and manipulate the information with your uh, iPhone app that's also free. So uh, it completely works, and it's awesome. People are using it. We're, we're approaching our 700,000th user right now. And it's just been up since, what, uh, like April or May it came out. So, uh, man, it's just the thing has exploded. It's completely free, everydollar.com. Cindy is with us in Augusta, Georgia. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Hey, Dave. I'm fine. Thank you. Sure. How can I help? Well, my grandson, his mother gave him his allowance last night, and he said, Mama, just don't buy me some. Just buy me some ice cream every now and then, and give me a hug and kiss for my chores. You don't have to give me your money. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you say to a kid like that? He he says he says I don't want to spend your money, Mama. And he tells mm -hmm. me when we're out, will you buy it so Mama doesn't have to use her money? Mm -hmm. So where did he get the idea, Mama's starving to death? Well, they were saving for a house, mm -hmm. and he wanted this and that, and she said, we're trying to save our money so we can buy a new house. They bought the house. They're fine, but he that's his mindset now, mm -hmm. so I don't know what to tell him or tell her. Well, he I think you just tell money. him. I just tell him that, that honey, this is not about, you know, your, the, the amount of money we're talking about here is not going to affect this family. You're fine. And uh, here, here, it's a sweetheart that you've got there, but where there's a bigger picture. He's how old? He's six. Okay, he can understand this. Just say, darling, mm -hmm. everything's okay. Mom and Daddy are fine. There's plenty of money here. We're not rich, but we're definitely not poor. Everything's okay. Grandma's not poor. And what I want you to learn to do is I want you to learn to work 
and know that money's associated with that. So when you do chores, I'm going to give you money. And then I want you, as your mama or your grandmama, I want you to learn to save. And so we want you to save some of that money. And I want you to learn to spend the money and enjoy it. So we want you to do that wisely. And we want you to learn to give. And so we're trying to teach you life lessons here. This, this is not a charity thing where we're just giving you money because we love you. We're giving you money to teach you, and the money is related to you having done your chores. And so this is how it's going to be, Bubba. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and let him walk through that because, he, he, you, know, you know, here's the thing. Little kids very seldom, I mean, some of them have the, they go through the phase of my toy, my toy, and they don't want to. But when it comes to money, you hand them money, they don't place a lot of uh, value on it. You know, how we always had the saying, you have to teach so-and-so the value of a dollar. You've heard, right. you know, you've used that saying, and so have I. So and so doesn't know the value of a dollar. Well, little kids don't know the value of a dollar, so they are very generous. They'll just give it away. They don't think anything about it. Now, you try to take one of their toys, they become Genghis Khan, but <laughs> they don't know the value of a dollar, and, and so it, to them, it doesn't it doesn't hold the same kind of power. And, and so we're not trying to teach them to be greedy. We love his giving spirit. He's got a sweet heart, and I don't want to destroy that. But I do want to create a situation where there's teachable moments around money, and that is the first one is work is where money comes from, and then once you've earned money, son, I'm going to teach you to save. I'm going to teach you to give. I'm going to teach you to spend. And, and you handling that money that you worked is how I get to teach you that. So, yeah, we're going to continue to do this. And, no, I'm not going to give you a hug and some ice cream. You get to you get the hug, and you get to buy the ice cream. So <laughs> so you learn the value of a dollar. So, Cindy, hold on. I'm going to send you two copies of the number one New York Times bestselling book, Smart Money, Smart Kids, which is for parents and grandparents to teach their children how to handle money. So one copy is for you as a, as a great grandma that you are, and one is for your child so they can re you and, and daughter-in-law, son-in-law to read so they can train this young man and, and continue to nurture his wonderful giving spirit and also teach him to save so that he can continue to give and also teach him to spend wisely so that he has control of his money, which that way... I mean, that basically disqualifies him for being a congressman. But other than that, it'll, he'll be, have great career opportunities in front of him. <laughs> so hold on. I'll have Kelly pick up, and we'll get you two copies of Smart Money, Smart Kids. Uh, that, that book has been a joy of ours. We've really, really, really enjoyed it. So the essence of that, folks, is there's really four lessons. I mean, there's a lot of other complicated things. You teach them contentment. You can teach them about investing. You can teach them about other things. But if you'll teach them to work, teach them to give, teach them to spend wisely, and teach them to save age appropriately, different for 6 than 16, then you'll have a kid that grows up and doesn't have to live in your basement. Ha! There's the goal. That puts this hour of the Dave Ramsey Show in the books. Our thanks to James Childs, our producer. Blake Thompson is our executive producer. Kelly Daniels, our associate producer and phone screener. I am Dave Ramsey, and we'll be back. What have I learned so far? Well, I've learned there's no one right path for everyone. I've learned that without my high school diploma, I can only do so much. My options were limited, very limited. I found a free personalized learning program with Learn for Life that has a flexible schedule so I can keep my job while earning my high school diploma. I found a new career with training opportunities that would jumpstart my future. What I've learned so far, I've learned that I could change my life. 